Hey guys, Brainman117, welcome back to the channel and my thoughts on the soon to be released Mega Constructs Halo Infinite Set GNB21 Skiff Interset. This is a 452 piece set and a continuation of their two in one building toy phase. The features read as follows, Halo Infinite inspired banished skiff vehicle building set with rear cockpit, missile launcher and 360 degree turret that spins when its exhaust is turned. This sounds very interesting, we'll take a deeper look into this in a few moments. Under the product description it reads, take your troops where they're needed with the banished skiff construction set, inspired by a non-playable vehicle from Halo Infinite. This skiff features a spinning turret that spins when you turn its exhaust pipe or choose to build a walker and fortified cover wall. This playset also includes four micro action figures that can be placed inside your vehicle of choice. So my first thoughts on the skiff were mixed to be honest with you, but I think most of that was spawned by the fact that I don't recognize the vehicle. It's not something that we've seen in game before, so we don't really know what to make of it. But I believe that this is possibly mentioned in one of the novels that I've read. If it is, it's a vehicle that the brutes use that is described as ramshackle together gun platform, which would bring additional brute forces into battle, having devastating effects on the ground troops in defense. If this is the vehicle that I'm thinking of from the novels, this vehicle does make sense to me to the description that I've read in that novel. Unfortunately, it slips my mind which novel that is. I will lock into it and try and come back to you. Taking a very quick look at the alternate builds for this set, you get a small barricade and a walker, which both of these two I think look really good. I'm pleasantly surprised by the alternate builds in this set. Again, I've said in previous videos, alternate builds aren't really something that would make me buy the set, but I totally get for many people, it could be what swings it, it adds value to the set, much more playability. So I think it's a really good thing that Mega have continued to do these two in one builds. It's highly unlikely that either of these secondary builds are canon or featured in the game, but it doesn't really matter. They still look like they could be featured in the game, especially that Walker. Okay guys, now let's move on to the bits that I'm really excited about. First up, I wanna discuss this feature here where you can turn the exhaust pipe to rotate the turret coming out of the front of the skiff. Now this is just a continuation of what they started doing with the most recent Scorpion 20-in-1 Pro Builder set that they released. To me, this is a huge step in the evolution of Mega Construct's never-ending quest to just improve their brand no ends. Although this is a relatively simple feature, it shows the start of where Mega are trying to take the brand. You'll also notice in some of these sets that there are a lot of additional new parts that once again they've created just to expand their parts folio. This inverted angle bracket here is of particular interest for me. Anytime Mega create new parts, I'm a happy man. If you're a mock builder like I am, which I'm sure most of you know, it just gives you more potential and freedom to build the way you want to build it. And when you're getting this many sets in banished colors, well, I guess that means there's gonna be some banished mocks coming up on the channel. Whilst we're on the subject of new parts, it's also worth mentioning that it looks like we're going to get a new style brick separator as well, which to me, this looks like a definite improvement on their first generation of brick separator. So I'll be most pleased to get my hands on that and try it out, see if it's an improvement. Saving the best till last, we get onto the figures. And as you can see, you get four figures with this set. One Spartan in green Mark VII armor, two Brute Warriors and one Grunt conscript all of which are buildable as you can see and all of which look absolutely incredible i said it in the last video i'm going to say it in every one of these videos i release for these infinite sets all of these figures look absolutely incredible i'm not generally a figure man as you guys know i'm more about the sets but all of the figures that i've seen in these pre-release images look absolutely incredible, especially these brute warriors. I don't know if we've seen this armor before. I don't recognize it, but to me, they look unbelievably good for what is probably going to be a relatively generic figure. So my final thoughts on this set, guys, is I think it's another win for us. It's got great figures. The set looks absolutely fantastic and it's different and different is good. It's nice to get new things. I think the build looks really interesting. There's lots of new parts, new techniques going on there with that build. So that should be a really enjoyable build. And I think once you've got it finished in your hands, 
I think it's unlikely you're going to be disappointed with it. As soon as I can get my hands on this set, I will create a speed build video and a review video for you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave some likes for this video if you enjoyed it. I'd also like to hear your thoughts on this set too, guys. So don't forget to leave those in the comments section below. And until the next video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.